Awesome. I'm glad you made it. I'm so happy to be here. And I'm so happy that Gerard's here. And um, anybody else? Who's that? Okay, I'm um, sorry. Your voice is coming in very slightly, but did I hear Daniel? No, she said Mike. Oh, Mike. Mike. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And so, um, all right, we're going to wait like maybe a couple more minutes. Um, I can see how many people are in it. Right now, there are six people, including myself. And actually, there's one extra person here. Um, seven, actually. Who's that? Oh, Remington. Okay, Remington's in. Awesome. Okay, we're going to give it like a couple more minutes, and then we'll begin. Let me bring up the um, the OneNote file. That. All right, so this is letter by Danelle. Um, I want to send a mass email tonight. Uh, Serenity um, had the exact same sickness I had last weekend. Uh, I think she probably got it from me. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, she hasn't been as responsive um, as she usually is because uh, she's been uh, um, last weekend it was horrible uh, felt like a stomach flu of some sort and literally felt like I was going to die you know so um, but she's going through it now herself and so she's not as available as um, as she usually is just let everybody know if you have contacted her I've been the one that's responding to you mostly Okay. When we do get each other's emails on our phone, so um, I can get it. And she she can get it too. Okay. This is maybe like another minute. Okay. So seven people so far. Okay. All right. Let's begin. All right. So um, I, I called this meeting because. Um, I uh, wanted to uh, first. The first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to give you Serenity's uh, vision. I just spoke to her about 15 minutes ago, and made sure that I knew exactly what her vision was for this particular scene. Uh, and it's not on the script yet. And so if you, if you, you know, read the first scene, that's been slightly changed, and it's because it's going to be so much more. Um, and it sounds very exciting because we're going to include. Uh, some wonderful music, some Afrocentric music. We're going to include some dancing, a tea ceremony, and all that just to heal Delia, you know, and uh, because she gets hurt. And uh, be part of the first thing, when Delia wakes up, of course, she is a dream, and she just kind of shows off and thinks something else about it, uh, which is funny because it actually happens. Um, so in this um, first scene, um, we actually got a drone operator who's going to hover a drone above the tree line. Uh, that's uh, going to hover for like a good minute. Delia is going to give a voiceover. It's that same voiceover that she saw in the first script. And um, while that voiceover is, is, is going, the music, you start hearing the music um, coming, uh, and the drone will start lowering into the tree line. As soon as it gets uh, to about head level of Delia, Delia is going to run in front, and that's when it's very, you know, uh, adventurous. She's running. And um, and then, of course, we'll cut two shots on the ground. We'll probably do some um, drone shots of parallel running with Delia, so we'll get some some cam action going. And um, in the background, we're going to see Dominique Jones, uh, who is uh, one of the goddesses. Uh, she's going to be dancing uh, to provide Delia energy. And so she's going to be doing some, uh, she's going to come up with some really nice dance moves um, and um, some dancing type stuff to help basically throw the energy towards Delia while she's running. Uh, Delia is looking frantic. She's like, she keeps looking back. She's not really paying attention to all the rocks on the ground that, that's in her past because it's on a dirt path. Um, at some point, uh, as Delia is turning back, she trips on a rock and falls. And um, now, let me let me go back just a little bit. I, I skipped I skipped some things here. As well as Dominique is uh, dancing, we also see the kids. Uh, it's like four or five of them um, who are tagged, and they're they're going to go 
Dr. Uh, Dillian. They're not running. They're just walking. Like most of the, you know, the killer walks and the peop- and the person who's running is running. And, uh, and the killer always catches up. It's that same old scenario. Uh, and they're looking at each other, and they look at Delia running, and Delia sees them as well. Uh, when Delia falls, of course, Audrey uh, looks at Delia, and it's not close. It's not She's not standing right on top of Delia, but it's, it's like a small distance. And um, and Delia looks at her with scary eyes, and then all of a sudden Audrey gets off a very loud scream. And it's going to her screen, but we're going to do some sonic settings to make it some metallic and alienish. Um, and then Delia gets back up, but you know, while she's looking at you know this creature, you know, uh, screaming at her, um, she's not really paying attention. She's scared. She just wants to get out of there. She trips again and busts her head against a rock. Um, at that point, um, oh, while while all this is happening, you. Whenever we get wide shots in the tree above the tree line, you're going to see spaceships, and you're not going to actually see the spaceship. You're going to see like the outline of it, like 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 the light surrounding it, you know. And that's it. You're not going to really see it because it's going to be so dark. And so um, that's all going to be done in CGI and post. So the spaceships are also following Delia, and so Delia doesn't know that the spaceships are her people. Um, she doesn't know anything about that, but that's who they really are. So basically, when she's when she's falling and busts her head, all of a sudden, coming from the tree line, you see all the gods and goddesses surrounding her starts to approach her in a circle-like pattern, you know, and they and they begin to join hands. Carla is going to have a tray of tea, uh, and it's going to perform what's called the Gungfa Cha, which is a, a Chinese ritual. Um, we're going to add a little bit of um, African ritual in that too as well, but it's um, basically be based off of the Kung Fu Ta uh, tradition. And so she's going to perform her ritual and uh, serve tea. Oya, who's the leader, Juliet Washington is is the oldest lady who's going to be there uh, at that time, as far as I know at this time. And uh, she's also going to be, you know, like a, a show force of leadership as well. Um, and so, uh, Carla, who is, um, uh, one of the African goddess is serving tea to Oya, Julia Washington. Um, I don't, I, we don't have a name for her yet. Just to let you know. Um, and Oshun, who is Dominique Jones, the, the dancer. And, um, at the same time, everybody's going to start singing in a chorale like fashion, like, oh, you know. Uh, Afrocentric, but like you know, just just no words, just humming all the um, the notes. So it's going to be a voice as well as some nice drums and and some maybe some synthesizer and also Remington's uh, guitar, you know, str- you know riffs, you know, like you know something that that can fill it in. So we're going to fill it in with everybody. Um, Linda Lola, she's a violinist. Oh, I should introduce everybody, but I'll do it after I get to the description of the scene. And so it's going to be a nice build. It's going to go from from a crescendo to a nice crescendo that gets louder and louder. Then when the music gets louder, then that's when we actually start singing in Yoruba language and doing some chants. That's when Dominique Jones is going to start dancing along with uh, Carla is going to be dancing and anybody else who wants to dance, you know, uh, some Afrocentric type dancing. Dominique Jones has been teaching um, modern dance for a very long time. So I think she's gonna she's gonna be the one that's gonna choreograph this whole scene. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so um, at that point, uh, uh, the spaceships are right above them. Audrey has gone into the woods because she, she doesn't have power to fight the aliens and also the gods and goddesses here on Earth. And so the spaceships are hovering above. And so whenever there's a wide shot, you'll see the spaceships in the sky. Um, Dominique will grab reach your hand out into the sky and grab energy from the sky, water, you know, and any other type of uh, powerful elements, and then thrust it upon uh, Dilia. So the drums I'm thinking about, and this is something that can change, and I know uh, uh, Gerard, you can, you can do something with that, and I don't know, Remington, if you know uh, how to play percussion, but I'm thinking that we do something like, doom, 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 boom, and, you know, some really nice, 
loud drums on there. Doom, 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 you know, something like that. And um, that's when the singers are not singing anymore. Uh, and little by little, the chants will come back. While Dominique is grabbing the water from the sky and then throwing it, like literally like, it's like uh, when you shake your hands full of water, like you, you, you're doing dishes and you shake your hands off. It's going to be like her reaching to the sky and then shaking her hands onto Delia to wash it off her hands and push that energy into, into Dominique or into uh, Delia. Um, at that point, you, you, when we get close to the shots of Delia, you're going to start hearing some breathing, you know, like she's starting to breathe again. And you start hearing the heartbeat and also a little hint of heartbeat monitoring effect. Uh, and a little bit of that noise that uh, I don't know if you guys watched the opening title on video, that do 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 you know, you start hearing some of that coming in into play. And that and that's what feeds her the information to help get her brain going again, get her heart going, get her going. Um, and so at some point, we're going to get the drone operator again, and the drone operator is going to hover the camera right above Delia's head while everybody's still standing in a circle. And then the camera's going to go from Delia's head and go straight up about 250 feet, which the scene will get smaller and smaller. And, smaller. As, and then at that point, uh, the camera's going to, I mean, well, editing, we're going to cut to black, and that's when the music gets louder and Well, the music will get louder and louder and louder as the camera goes up in the sky. Everybody's singing and singing. Juliet Washington, she sings for uh, several churches. She's put out CDs, and she's actually done this professionally. So, you know, she'll probably be like one of the lead singers, you know, with, with some really nice, strong vocals that we can add to that. <clears throat> That's something we have to plan. Um, and then, of course, it's going to end with a nice boom right before Dilia wakes up and opens her eyes, and then that goes into the second scene. So... With all that, as you know, and that's I think I uh, did capture Serenity's um, vision as best I could in this description I'm giving you. What do you What do you guys think so far? I think it sounds awesome. Was that Gerard? Uh, oh, okay. And when you say your name, so um, you know, just say hey, you know, Remington or or like I'll say. Antonio, yeah, I think it's awesome. You know, just to kind of so we can identify who's what because, you know, the connection. Yeah, I, I think it's awesome too. And um, now, Remington, let me ask you, uh, what do you think you can offer as far as the music? Because I mean, I'm thinking of some nice riffs, some chords, and and some really strong, you know, strumming at at, at times. You know, uh, what do you think? Um, so I did a little bit of research on Afrocentric music. And it seems like, from what I was able to find, there's actually not a lot of information on it, but it's primarily Latin beat based. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. So I found some samples of Latin beat that I can use. Um, I was gonna. I'm sorry. It's, oh my bad. I'm sorry to interrupt. This is why. I'm sorry. I had missed one part. I had to go pee real quick. I'm sorry. Oh, but... I was gonna say. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. Too. You're good. Uh, what, at what part did you miss? Uh, at what part did, did it get cut off? Uh, I don't remember. Because I came back in, you was, well, well when I uh, got back in right now, you were talking about how uh, you were talking about them doing something similar to like a Chinese ritual, but it was going to have some African influence into that, and then I stepped back, and I stepped out to go be. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll get back to that, Gerard. Um, but okay. uh, let me get back to Remington real quick so that he can finish his thought. You know, when, you know, when people have a thought, they got to, you know, get it out before no, 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 they get to Remington. I'm sorry. Um, oh yeah. So uh, I was thinking pretty much primarily drum based stuff um, and strictly guitar effects added in, uh, like some uh, intricate drum patterns. But what would sound really cool is um, some ten uh, drums that are pitch oriented. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that would work pretty well. Um, and as far as the Krauss uh, style thing, that's pretty quick to 
to write out. Okay. And one thing that's really cool, Remington, is that we got some powerful singers here, too. Um, El Renee, Michael, Juliet, you know, and also Domo. I heard Dominique Jones, she likes to be called Domo. So Domo, um, so, you know, we got the voice that can do they, they, their instruments of their own. And then you with uh, classic guitar, we got a violin player. And you play other instruments and synthesizers, so you can probably come with some nice synth backgrounds, you know, to accompany you playing and, and Gerard playing. Uh, Gerard, oh, another powerful singer. Uh, so we got several people here that we can utilize. And we and I want uh, Gerard, uh, Serenity wants him to uh, create the theme song for Delia. Just like anything else, you know, we all know the theme song of, of uh, Princess Leia. You know, I mean, everybody knows oh, yeah. that. Every single person has their own little melody. And so, um, and this will be a discussion for maybe later, but I would like to discuss who is going to create the melody to their main resource of uh, Billy, Josie, um, you know, Gideon, stuff like that. So when we see those people, you hear that song, you know, and we can probably just a little bit, but the melody has to stay the same. Um, but um, but the Delia song is probably going to be the primary song for the thing. And then, uh, especially when we do the killing, you know, we can probably uh, incorporate some of that melody that Gerard's going to create to accompany the most of that whole scene, you know, throughout. Um, Gerard, have you thought about a good melody for for um, for Delia? Um, yet? I had actually got started my bad. I got started with like a percussion. I need to do that. But I was thinking when you uh when you start the person about them doing the thoughts, I was like, man, it'll be dope. Have you uh just so much have you ever heard of like soca music? It's like kinda of, like towards like uh it's like Trinidadian type music. But it's like real heavy and well we mm, can talk mm, like a lot we, of we, we can talk about we could probably tweak it a little bit to where it still yeah. sounds like, um, I, was, I actually sat and listened to some Yoruba music, and I was like, yo, we can add it. That's te- technically that's folk, that's folk. And it's like, what if we added a certain way to give it, like, like a really simple melody? And I, it's weird. I had to listen to it some more. But when he had mentioned you playing, like, uh, like a classic guitar over it, that would mm-hmm. be, like, real... Oh, no. I'm telling you, uh, we we have a violin player and a classical guitarist with us, Gerard. Uh, and what's, what makes it so, and also uh, Dominique is, um, I'm not sh- um based off what I heard on her YouTube channel, she's an intermediate um, uh, guitar player. And so uh, with all that together, you know, and just adding so many different elements to it, I think, there was this uh, group called the, the, the Me Fi Me that came out in the 90s. Had a very unique sound uh, to it. And I don't know who's old enough to remember. Uh, Remington, I'll, <laughs> you were probably um, a baby at the time when they came out. But anybody <laughs> who's my age, uh, like the Halls, you know, that's on the phone, uh, Michael Hall and Renee Hall, Monica probably remembers them. Um, they were not a very popular group. But, you know, they, they were on the radio for, for a good time. And they had some uh, guitar. They added a little bit of Greek sound to it. Uh, it was a black group, but it was kind of like a fraternity group. You know, they kind of had that that Greek fraternity type of group. And they had a look, you know a mix of all kinds of different sounds into one, and it sounded unique. They did. They had a unique sound. Um, so having that unique sound, I think, will make it interesting. Um, um so yeah, I, I totally agree with you, Gerard. Um, and um, so that's why I would lo- love for you to uh, get with Linda, uh, for you to get with Remington, and just you know brainstorm. We don't have to record all you guys in the same studio. You know, we can just come to your house, hook up the microphone, and set up a one track, another track in the audio recording, and then record it. Now, for the playback, we need on January thirtieth. Uh, we nece- we don't necessarily need to have the whole thing done either. If we just have the basics, uh, like maybe a bass line, 
um, drums and in a simple melody, it, and it, it doesn't even have to be the sound that we need. We just need the basic melody there. That's all they would need to make sure that everybody's in sync. Um, while they're singing, while they're dancing, something like that, if we just had that, then that's all we need. Um, yeah, and then in post, we will fill it in later, you know. We'll fill it all in. Um, so uh, now, um, is, are there any, uh, based off, and I, I know if you have any more ideas in the future, you can always uh, email that thread, DG Forward mus Musicians and Dancers. If you send it to that, it will go to everybody that's a part of this group. Um, but um, so if you have any ideas now that you'd like to to add to it like you know i think it'll be awesome if you know blah 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 uh go ahead and share that this is um, danielle i have, have i a, have a suggestion oh, go, go for it um what i was going to say was i i, I want to um know if any of the character profiles of how you know the character's personalities um have been shared with any anyone just yet because i wanted to make sure that the continuity of the personality is also um, connecting with the music for, for if you're talking about theme, um, like um, Delia is a very strong woman, so, you know, you're going with her theme, theme song, of course, to float with her personality as well as everyone else's. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. No, that totally makes sense. And um, um, But uh, I'm imagining is that... Um, you know, we'll we'll definitely want to make sure that the melody is familiar. But then when she's um sad, there'll be times when she's like uppity and that same melody can be used differently exactly. every time. So it doesn't have to be the yeah. same song. You know, like uh Star Wars, you know, it's like they during the slow theme it's that same melody but it was to it's a totally different song, you know. Yeah, um, I was so just wondering we, if the character profile has been the characters, the various different characters that you are wanting them to start to pay attention to, has been mm -hmm. shared with them so they get an idea. Oh, and if that's what I. Oh, mean, I know what you're Yeah. And how to match the melody with the character's profile. What I'll do is I'll send you guys an email with the, with the character profile. So you guys can get that. Because uh, you guys will need that actually in post. Um, when we start doing the rest of the music for the whole entire show, you definitely will need that so you guys can come up with that. In fact, I mean, you know, it may be a good idea for you guys to start, you know, working on the melody now for each character, and we can assign a character to each person. Like, a hey, Remington, we'll give you blah, 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 blah. We'll give Linda this. We'll give Gerard that. I mean, Gerard already knows he's going to do Delia. So, yeah, I will definitely make sure that you get those profiles so that you know exactly how you can make that music. That sounds That's a good idea. Um, I'll make sure I do that on the phone here. Um, so um now the music that plays as the camera is from the tree line to Delia's head is gonna be, you know, very uh, slow, like you know, kinda like uh very uh majestic, you know, biblical type of, you know, slow music, uh while Delia is giving her speech in the beginning. Uh, as the camera is coming from the trees down to the, to the ground, so um, that part. What do you guys think for that? Or can um, we do that in post? Because the net needs to be recorded on video on January thirtieth. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's probably easy to do that in post. Um, I would say if you want it to be biblical, to just write out some. Uh, Counterpoint, um, like Bach esque, what you're doing in church, pretty much. Okay. And then the, the uh, music for Domo, who's going to be dancing off in the distance while Dilly is running, will probably have to be something that we have to create. And that could be, you know, some drum beats, adventurous, you know, you know, I mean, I mean you know, um, Something like that in that order. Um, Gerard or Remington, uh, do you have the ability to? Um, to I, I want to make sure that if you do, uh, like, do you have the equipment? Oh, uh, I do. 
Okay. I just want to make sure before I say, you know, hey, do, do does Remington want to do it or does Gerard want to do it? So um, I want. I actually want to like work with him. <laughs> Just okay, so you guys want to work together. Me. Okay, let's do that. Ah, that that's let's me. Do like, see if we can mesh and see if we can make those. Um, oh, that sounds great. Awesome. So, uh, you guys, if you guys want to get together, just get together on your own and uh, just um, brainstorm and, you know, and uh, let us know what you guys come up with. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Um, so, th- so we got that music. Then, of course, when she falls, of course, the music stops, and then we got maybe some other type of, you know, uh, verse or whatever uh, measure that we have um, another, you know, sort of music that, you know, maybe when Audrey screams and all that stuff. And then um, and then uh, I'm thinking we probably will show Dominique. She will look over at Delia because she, then she gets worried, you know, uh, kind of look. That's something we can – I can work on Serenity on as far as adding that to the script. But um, – and then she tries to get up again and then trips and fall. And then what I'm thinking is all music turns off, like da 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 dum boom. And then we'll add like a huge sound effect that goes, boom, you know, that will blow up the soap overs. Now, um, and then, of course, the scene when the gods and goddesses are emerging from the trees, uh, from the tree line to surround Delia, we got that song that we got to do. Um, the tea ceremony is another song you know, that will kind of blend into that song. And then we'll blend into the dancing again um, in the resurrection and stuff like that. So, um, and then we got actual singing, singing in Europe, which I need to get in contact with um, uh, Alana Yi. Uh, her, his, his American name is Jethro, uh, to come up with those lyrics. Uh, now, if you want to, Gerard, you can you can actually come up with the lyrics in English. I'm not okay. sure how that will mesh if we com- um, translate to Yoruba. I don't. Uh, maybe what I have to do is give you his phone number so that you guys can talk it out. Okay. Yeah, you know, I can. Yeah, that'll work. I mean, I just think okay. with Spanish, so I can just write it out, and then he'll tell me, "Okay, do it like this." And if anything, like the melody might change a little bit, but like as long as I can have it set up a certain way to where it's still flows the way it needs to, it shouldn't be any problem. Awesome, awesome. Um, Danielle, um, do you have anything else you want to add to this? Or Oh, Kendra, Kendra. Oh, um, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, Kendra making the music? No. Oh, okay. Um, well, uh, Serenity wants me to point out uh, Kendra's been helping Serenity with the script, and uh, so when you look at the script now, anything that's in red is her additions to it. I know, Daniel, you sent the email about that. I'm going to call you afterwards to discuss that. Um, um, those aren't permanent changes. Uh, they're just her ideas uh, that are put in there, and then we're going to black the letters, the ones that we're going to keep. Um, the so will, uh, will the will the lyrics that are being created be a part of the script? The the, the wording? Probably not. Uh, okay. Except for the chant. Um, except for the chant that will be in there because okay. chant is the actual resurrection. But um, the lyrics can we we don't have to put that in the script, but that will have to be okay. words that will be given to everybody. Um, maybe what we have to do. Because we got Dream Space shot to do all day Saturday. Um, on Saturday, this is the plan for Saturday. Kushun is not there on Sunday, January 31st. So uh, what we're going to have to do is get all her stuff done first thing. You know, so we'll probably get to do hers first, get her, all her stuff done, along with Hallie C. Brown, the uh, beautiful young eight-year-old that we have in this scene. Then after that, we're going to uh, probably start working on those other scenes that we have planned out, but then stop at some point, move over to um, the Lilia resurrection scene and do that uh, or sunset. The uh, reason I want to do it right before sunset because we're shooting day for night, but sunset is probably the best time to shoot it so that it won't take that much altering in post-production to make it look like night. Um, then Sunday – We'll try to get all the dream space stuff done. All those things will be done. Um, 
one of those um, scenes will be done at a church, and this church has a beautiful um, um, area in, you know, around it. And so we're thinking that could be a very, you know, um, kind of what do you call it, uh, mystical or what, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, beautiful scene. I mean, I like the words right now for some reason, but that can be a really beautiful scene um, that's very, twin, you know, tranquil. We've got the beautiful church in the background that could be added to that. Um, and that would just be the area where Delia and um, Harold would be talking, you know, and so um, we were thinking about using that area because it's just beautiful. It's like a garden there, and it's just, I mean, it's really, really pretty outside there. So um, that would be another part of Dream Space. Um, let me see. Uh, who else do we have here? Because uh, I, I looked on the screen, and I saw more people join. Monica, are you here? Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Hi, Monica. How you doing? Hi. I'm good. Great. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. All right, let me let me go on the screen and see how many more people showed up. Okay, so that's good. Um, so anything anybody else wants to add to this? Um, Gerard or Remington, Monica? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I have something. Uh, this is Remington. Um, do you have or could we create a basic timeline of, I guess, seeing or not seeing changes, but edits um, where the music is going to change in about how long you want each mm, I gotcha. guess, style to go for? Well, um, I'm thinking that um, it can be as long as you guys want. However, uh, when we do the post production, that's when we will, you know, have to decide on timing. Um, so um, as far as the background that Domo needs to dance with, uh, that can be like three minutes long, you know, um, and it just it can just be a basic beat that she can dance to, and then we can go and post and and work on that later. As far as the music of um, the resurrection and all that, there is no time. That's why we want to discuss that. We definitely want to discuss that and see what would be good timing for that. Um, so, the scene when actually we can probably discuss that now if you like. Um, the part where it goes from the goddesses coming out of the wood line or the tree line and a bunch of Delhi who's who's now dead, really. Um, you know, um what amount of time do you think is needed for that? You know, and still keep the pace of the show going. Like what? Six seconds, eight seconds? What do you guys think? Somewhere between six to ten seconds, I would imagine. Okay. So that's six to, six to ten seconds of that. I don't think we need music for that uh, for for January 30th, you know, because um, that's just going to be just a bunch of camera angles and, you know, just getting everybody. Um, then the music starts with the tea ceremony. Tea ceremony, um, I'm going to talk to Carla and find out what amount of time takes and I wish she can be here but she couldn't be here today with us so the discussion about the tea ceremony we might have to do it another time to figure out what is involved with this Goomba Cha uh, I think is what it's called um, and um, so that part we'll have to decide later um, but we definitely want some nice sweet you know I don't know uh, stringy music you know, you know, some. I, uh, I, I think you guys. Um, I mean, do you guys still want to say, um, you know, it's Chinese, but it's also adding a lot of Afrocentricness into the tree ceremony, okay. and maybe some um, some drums with some tambourine, like ching, 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 you know, in the background, and it's just really nice, soft, you know, music for that part. Um, as far as just anybody speaking during it, like maybe you know one of somebody's saying, "Hey, we're you know we're here to resurrect and Dilly and all that." I don't know what what Serenity is planning for that. That's something we have to wait for Serenity on. But she's trying to work that out as we speak. Um, 
I want to do Google Translate on the word. I can't pronounce it. I don't know how to tell somebody to say it, and I definitely don't, wouldn't know how to tell them to sing it because I don't know the language. Well, well just like Gerard was saying, Gerard was saying that, uh, I'm talking to somebody now, I don't know if you heard her in the background, what Gerard was saying is that he's going to write the words out in English <laughs> and then get what uh, to uh You okay, babe? I'm sorry. Uh, get with Detro later to um, uh, discuss the actual translation. And, and like Detro was saying, the melody will change a little bit, but it's still going to be somewhat close to what it was. So I think you can still write the words in English. You're handling things fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, um, so yeah, there will probably be some dialogue there. There will probably be um, the chanting. Um, now the chant, hasn't been decided yet. It really hasn't. Okay. So hold on one second. Okay. Everybody. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on one second. Actually, uh, we've been, uh, 41 minutes into it. Does everybody just want to take like a quick three, five minutes? Hello. Uh, I'm still yeah, here. I'm fine either yeah. way. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me like three minutes. Um, I'm still here. I'm just gonna put it on mute, and I gotta take something real quick. All right. Basically, I'm taking care of my wife. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. just give me like three three minutes. Uh, I didn't hear any responses. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 All right. See you guys in a minute. Okay. All right. Um, I'm back, everybody. Sorry about that. And so um, what um, Serenity was saying was that uh, – is everybody back? I don't know if anybody stepped yeah. away from me. Okay. No, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, what Serenity was saying is that um, they're almost going to be speaking words, uh, like like talking at this point. But Juliet, you know, her being a very powerful uh, singer, can begin – to sing, and that's when the you know when everybody's already joined hands, and and then she can begin the singing. So then we have definitely to come with some words. And Gerard I can do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is ask uh, Juliet to send me a video of her singing so that you can get a feel for how she sings. Um, just do the English part, and we'll we'll, we'll work with Jetro to do the translations. Um, but she will begin the singing. I'm sorry, question. This is still dealing with that one scene. Is it like the healing scene or something like that? Right, it's a healing scene. Okay, gotcha. That's that's. And and maybe the words can be something about healing. You know, like like um uh, and you know, I'm not a music writer. Okay, <laughs> I'm not a songwriter. Um, so we're here today to uh in in a singing. You know, she's actually singing this out. We're here today to. Bring back life, you know, and you know, and and um, stuff like that. And she, uh, and she uh, my brother, and getting everybody all hyped up and stuff. So you know, you can imagine she's got that voice that can carry. So I can imagine her doing that. Um, and um, so, if you want to come up with the words, it, does, it can you know be. Uh, I don't know. What do you think is good? Twelve measures, sixteen measures? Uh, well, it depends on how long. I'll shoot for sixteen. Let's 
You shoot for 16? Okay. And then maybe at measure eight, um, the choir, the, the choral begins to do the background of, with no words. Like, like Ooh, uh, yeah. You know, and so you're out, you're doing this. Uh, and maybe, you know, if you want to give us an example of what that would sound like, just pick a chorus, a uh, choral uh, sound, sound font or whatever you call it on your keyboard and just play that in and so we can see hear all the sound. Um, and then take it out when we play it on January 30th. And, um, and just uh, give us an example of how it will sound. And then that can come in on measure eight. That's when the music gets a little bit more, you know, um, exciting. Then it ends at 16, go into a chorus that where everybody's chanting, you know, something like that. Um, I have a suggestion and, uh, with that. I have a sure, suggestion with that, Danielle. Um, my suggestion with that, rather than break it down right now completely to the measures and, and everything else, my suggestion is is to create your melody um, with the full with the full breakdown, and then because you can use that and use it as part of the score later as well for a larger part of the song, and that can be a whole other marketing part part of this. But you can break that down into something smaller. Um, and piece it together um, from the larger score um, for that scene, um, because mm -hmm. that that keeps the creativity flowing for if, if they're seeing something bigger, and then they can piece that down to something smaller if they're if they're thinking um, and, and it, it may flow together. Like, yeah, it may flow together as a as a as a chore not a choreographer but a writer um, of this of the music. Um, it may flow together a lot, lot smoother, and you might be able to be able to bring a piece of that back into another section of the story as well. Mm hmm Oh yeah, uh, and and Gerard, we when you um, kind of off topic a little bit, you can we can use this song as one of the major songs, like even adding like two or three verses um, and more chorus, and maybe a you know good breakdown at you know at the end. Um, I think um, that would be great, you know, but. For this, uh, I think Dayon's right. Just do uh, the basics for now um, and um, come up with the lyrics, the, the choral um, melody for the, for, the, for the choir. And, um, and then we'll just do it that and we'll just keep playing over and over again until we get all the angles that we need. So I think that's good. And, yeah, you and Remington want to get together and uh, knock this out. That would be great. I'm going to see where Linda's at because uh, she can make it tonight either. But I'll see where she's at so that maybe she can join in as well. All right. Yeah, that, sounds, so, um, that sounds great. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to send everybody an email with each other's phone numbers so that we can all start sharing that. And um, anytime you you uh, feel you need to do a Skype for business uh, meeting, just let me – well, you can do it yourself um, and – Three six five. Go to mail. You set up a meeting. Invite the people, and then you tell it you want to do a Skype meeting. It's very easy to do. You will get a conference number for phone calls. All that. Um, if you need any help with that, let me know. I can show you how. It's free. <laughs> it's there. Uh, let me see. Um, anything else that anybody else wants to cover here? No, I think it sounds great. Awesome, Monica. Thank you. And Danielle? Yeah. I'm here. So, uh, all right. And um, so Gerard and Remington and possibly Ninda, uh, when do you think you can have this done? Uh, like, like the basics, um, something that you can show us. Well, I got the, the percussion. I got a part of that. Well, basically, I had like a general idea of that. But that was actually mm -hmm. in three-fourths. So I'm like, crap, okay, I have to just change it. So I got percussion. I can probably slow it down a little bit. And as far as, like, a melody, I can figure that oh, out. Or well, unless <laughs> Remington wants to figure that out, or we can just mesh ideas and see what we can get. But as far as percussion, I... I got you got it in 3-4? That sounds interesting for when she falls, because it's confusion. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, um, see if that that sounds good, uh, Gerard. Um, when she falls, do three four for that. Uh, that sounds interesting, and then go back to four four uh, for the rest. I mean, you see, I can, play with yeah, that. I can, can do how, that. 
Yeah, see how it feels. Uh, just to see how it feels, or seven eights even, I think would be better because you can go, da, 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 you know. Yeah. Um, see how it feels. If it doesn't feel good, then then forget it. But yeah, see how it feels. Um, all right, so because I trust you guys on all this, so I, I think uh, you know Remington will, will will knock this shit I'm sorry, stuff out the park. Um, <laughs> And and um, and we'll get Linda in here uh, with you guys. Um, you guys can work together on that. Um, I'm gonna the Facebook chat thing. Um, I'm not really a Facebook person, but it was. Uh, but it is a good way for, to kind of you know stay in contact and you know. So if you put a message out there, all of us will get it. Um, I don't think Danielle, you were at that Facebook chat, or. What I can do? Um, do you guys just want to create a Facebook group just for us? Sure. No, not 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 for the musicians. Not for the musicians. Okay, and so then we can all stay in contact that way. Like you can say, hey, I, I created a new beat. Check it out. One Drive for Business um, is a part of Office 365, and so when you log into your account, you click on those nine little dots in the upper left, and you click on One Drive. You can upload files there. It's one terabyte of storage. That's 1,000 gigabytes of storage. Uh, I can keep going on down the line. but So, um, you know, there's a lot of space there for you to upload files to uh, for backups and uh, storing of your files. In fact, actually, I do prefer that you store everything there, project files, MP3s, WAV files, everything. Um, you can download OneDrive for Business onto your computer, and all you have to do is just – simply drag and drop into a folder and it'll automatically upload. So I, I can, what I'll do is I'll send you guys emails on how to set that up so that um, you guys can get that going. And then everything will be stored in the cloud. So if something happens to your computers and you lose everything, well, everything is in the cloud. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, it's, just like, it's just like Dropbox and, you know, stuff like that. Um, all right. So, um yeah, if you guys can have something for us by um, next Thursday, does that does that sound good, or you guys need a little more time? I think that's doable. Doable Thursday, Gerard. Gerard, did we lose him? I still see the same amount of people in here. Um, oh, no, one body just dropped off. I'm not sure that was him or not. Well, this meeting is being recorded. He said he can meet so... on Thursday. Oh, we can meet on Thursday? Okay. Um, I will be at work from 12 to 11. But, yeah, uh, just um, if you guys do meet, uh, hopefully Serena will be feeling better at that time. Just, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys can be with her. Um, that's fine. Yeah. So go ahead and meet. Um, I'll just get it from Serenity later. I look forward to hearing the tracks you guys come out. I'm so looking forward to this. Um, all right. So if no, if nobody has anything else, um, I want to thank you so much for coming to this meeting. I really do appreciate it. And this is an idea that just came up just a few days ago. Um, and I really see a lot of big things coming from this because this is the first scene and we want to grab people just like the Lion King did in that first scene, you know, with the music and the beauty of Africa and the, and the animals and all that is it, it grabbed me, you know, the the Prince of Egypt opening scene, all that. So um, no one has anything else? I want to thank you everybody for coming. Anybody have anything else? No, I think it sounds great to add music. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, El Rene, or Tutti, and uh, Michael and Gerard, please have a safe drive. Michael, if you have anything that you want to sing into this, uh, talk to Gerard about that. Whatever you guys decide, we're, we're going to work with, okay? And uh, you guys have a wonderful day, and thank you again for coming. And Daniel, I'll be calling in about 10 minutes. Okie dokie. All right, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.